What's up everybody? Welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars Summer 2020 set review. Today we're taking a look at the brand new line of mosaics, specifically the Sith version. This is the only Star Wars version of the mosaic as of right now. This is set number 31200, comes with 3,406 pieces, recommended for ages 18 and up. You get three options in one picture, including an audio soundtrack, and this retails for $120. The official release date for the set is, I believe, September 1st. I was actually able to get this at my local Target. They had it out early. I wasn't expecting that, so check your local Target, I guess, if you were looking for it really bad right now. So like I said, this is an 18 and up set. So it's geared toward the adult collectors, people who want to display their Lego. By no means is this a play set. So let's dive on into the unboxing. So first off, you open up the box like so. Comes with a lot of cool stuff inside. Uh, you do get, of course, all of the different bags of all the different colored studs. Um, the entire painting on Mosaic is comprised of one by one round studs in different colors. So you have a lot, a lot of those. Of course, you do have the instruction manual, which does allow you to build three different options for the set. Um, you can only build one at a time, but each does come with enough pieces to build one of each of the three. Of course, you can combine all three to build one giant one. You also do get a smaller box with some of these newer, uh, larger Technic plates. They're like brick plates, a combination of Technic brick pins underneath the plate layer, which you put the studs on, which is really, really cool. Comes at nine of them to complete the entire mosaic. Like I said, there's an audio that you can actually listen to. I think it's music uh, to just build along with. Personally, that's not my thing. I like to either watch Netflix or chill with my friends when I'm building a set, but you can definitely do that. The option is there if that's something that you want to look into. But just taking a brief look at the box here on the back, you can see you have all of the three versions you can see it is 40 centimeters just under 16 square inches right there in length and width you have Darth Maul Darth Vader and Kylo Ren now, now for this video I did choose to build Darth Vader as you guys can see but then there's also instructions you can look into for doing the audio soundtrack right there only in English like I said the piece counts about 3700 but also keep in mind that the majority of those are the one by one round studs comes in several colors you have sand blue you have orange white metallic gray regular gray gray, light bluish gray, lots of really cool different colors. Of course, like I said, you can make any of them. So, but first let's talk a little bit about the build process. So like I said, it's a mosaic. You are placing one by one studs down individually. So it's going to be a little bit more tedious than your conventional Lego set, whether you're building a juniors, a normal, an architecture set, a creator set, or UCS set, whatever that may be. It's a very different building experience. Like I said, because you're putting all these studs on one at a time. Now, in terms of the instructions, it's very easy to follow. The instruction page takes you one section at a time. So on the back here, you can see all of these different sections. There's nine sections total. Of course, there are a series of steps that makes you connect every single one of them to make sure it's a really sturdy connection. But essentially each page has a life-size print of this larger section. So it's one to one scale when you build it. So it's going to be really easy to follow. It's not really confusing at all. So as long as you're paying attention, obviously I think you'll be just fine. And like I said, it's a tedious process. You're putting down each stud one by one at a time and you can have, you know, a bunch of these different bags open. So that's really the only thing that I kind of ran into when I was building the set that I wasn't a huge fan of, but that's just the nature of the set. Like I said, it's a mosaic. The idea, of course, creating this beautiful art piece is having the one by one studs. When you put them on, you know, one by one, it looks weird, but then when you take a step back, it looks beautiful and that's just the nature of the set. What I do like is there is a really nice clean finished black border made of mostly tile and some of the uh, two by two corner plates which just makes for a nice clean finish which looks fantastic. In the lower right you do have some of the brighter colors that does represent his lightsaber which looks fantastic. And then of course you can see the outline of the mask area with the eyes and the rest of the helmet. You can see the lightsaber is giving off this sort of red underglow which shines on the front of Vader's helmet and then as you go towards the top section it's a little bit more dark, more black, and sort of uh, more dark and sort of dark blue studs, again, representing a little bit of a darker under shadow compared to the front where you have the lightsaber illuminating most of Vader's face. So for me personally, it took maybe about 20-ish minutes per section, so 20 times nine, it's about a three hour build. And like I said, it's a lot of studs. You're placing them one at a time, which gets very tedious, very time consuming, but it was really relaxing. I'm not used to doing builds like this. I'm used to building the 501st Battle Pack or the AAT with minifigures. And it's kind of a nice relaxing break to get a set that's a little bit more laid back, a little bit low key. And uh, it's overall actually really fun and relaxing build. Now, if you're someone who's younger and you're only looking to buy sets with minifigures or with vehicles and tanks and stuff, this is not gonna be the set for you. But if you're someone like me, a little bit older who appreciates Lego sets that are intended for a display, which looks beautiful as you can see, I think this is definitely a good option. But $120 I feel is just 
still a little bit too much. I would have really liked a hundred dollar price point. I think that would have been fair. Definitely no complaints at a hundred dollars. Star Wars, you're paying for a beautiful piece. And granted, there are a lot of bigger elements in this set, which is I'm sure why it's, it is a little bit more expensive than you would come to think. But I love it. I really do. I think I'm going to wait until Walmart or Target have clearance or maybe even double VIP points. Then I can buy the other two, build one giant Vader mosaic and have the hanging up somewhere back here. But guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think of the Sith mosaic. Will any of you be picking this up? Do any of you plan on getting all three? and building the entire mosaic let me know down below in the comments guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you later take it easy peace